going on guys it's modded warfare here welcome back to another ps4 tutorial so in this tutorial we're once again looking at how to run backup copied games however in this tutorial it's going to be a bit different because we're going to be looking at how to run backup games with the latest game update installed for that game right now when you run a backup game it's only going to be the base version of the game 1.00 no updates installed and you might want the latest update for the game because Obviously updates sometimes unlock certain content or add new content, sometimes they have major bug fixes, sometimes the game just won't run without, you know, like the, the one of the updates installed um, for the game. So that's quite important right now, none of the games have any, have any updates for them or any of the backups, except Ghosts has just been released on PSX Hacks and this copy of Call of Duty Ghosts, a backup copy, has the latest game update with it. it comes with the latest game update so I'm going to show you how to install that so just for context as you can see here I've got Call of Duty Ghosts installed the normal disc version of the game and I actually have it updated to version 1.20 so 01.20 and if I run it here you can see that I have access to extinction mode or which you don't normally have access to when you're just on the base version of the game so as you can see I have access to extinction which I wouldn't normally have access to and in the bottom right hand corner the version is 3.15.146 now so as you can see I definitely have the game update now if I close the application here okay so now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna go ahead I've loaded up my donor disk payload and I'm using watchdogs as an example uh, as my donor disk as my donor disc to launch ghosts so I'm gonna go ahead and start watchdogs here and what that's gonna do is it's gonna launch Call of Duty Ghosts because it's my backup and as you can see it's just the base version of the game look we have no access to extinction mode and if I go on multiplayer you'll see I don't have access to extinction and you'll see what the the game version is uh, 2.0 in the bottom right hand corner so we're just on the base version of the game right now and that's a problem because you're probably going to want an update because on ghosts anyway it unlocks extinction mode um, and on other games it can add additional content or certain games won't run unless it has like the the first day one update installed so it's you know a good idea to have the latest update and even though I have the latest update installed for ghosts it's not going to apply that update to the backup copy of Ghosts that I'm running because it thinks we're running Watch Dogs right now. So it's not going to apply the Ghosts update to Watch Dogs. So that is why that is not working at all even though I do have the Ghosts update installed. So let's go ahead and have a look at how to actually get the, the backup copy of Ghosts, the backup copy of your game to run on the latest update when it's running as a backup. Alright so first of all what we're going to do is of course launch our FTP um, payload which we can access using uh, f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash that version of the webkit playground has FTP plus debug settings go ahead and launch that and then head over to your computer open up FileZilla and we're going to connect to our ps4 so you can quickly do this just by typing in your ps4's IP uh, address into the host put in nothing for the username and password and put in 1337 as the port number connect and that will connect you to your ps4 okay so once we're on the ps4's hard drive obviously you head into data then what you do is you create a new folder in here called cusa and then the id of the donor disk that you're going to be using to launch the game so in my case i'm using watchdogs which is cusa 00016 this one here if i was using the gta 5 one right here then I would put in CUSA 00411 the re I normally do use the GTA 5 one the reason I'm using watchdogs is because the GTA 5 donor disk payload doesn't work properly for launching ghosts when you try and go on multiplayer or any other mode it just comes up with a box saying installing additional content and it, it never goes away so for some reason uh, the GTA 5 payload's not a good one to use but the watchdogs payload works fine remember you can find these payloads on the website sce.party i'll put a link to that to it in the description so once you've created your folder with the game id you're then want, going to want to go to call of duty ghosts where you downloaded it so obviously you download all of the parts and then you right click and extract part one using winrar 
and then you'll get these four folders. So you've got the app zero, you've now got, so normally you would just have the app zero and the crack. In this case, we've got the app zero, then the patch zero, which is the game update. And then we've got two cracks. We've got the 1.00 crack and the 1.20 crack. The reason there's two is that if you want to just run the base version of the game, then you can just install uh, app zero and then the 1.00 crack, and then that will work and that will give, give you the base version of the game. But if you want the update, then we need to install app zero and then patch zero and then install the 1.20 crack to run the latest update. So that's what we're gonna be doing. So, okay, so what you wanna do first of all is go into the app zero folder, con control A, copy all the files in here and drag them into your CUSA 00016 folder. Okay, and once you've done that and you've got all the files copied over from app zero, you're then going to want to go into patch zero and there'll be a bunch of files in patch zero as well and you want to go into each one of these folders and copy all the necessary files across so all the language folders so we go into so what we do is we go into the english folder on here and then we go into the english folder in patch zero and copy all the files from the english folder in patch zero to the english folder in the actual game and then what you want to do is just say always use this action and click ok to overwrite any files that were originally there all right, and then once that's done, you can back out of here, back out of here, go into the next one, which is the French folder, copy all the files from the French folder to the French folder in the game, and it will overwrite any files that were originally there once you click that box. Then what you want to do is, again, keep doing it with the next one and the next one and the next one. So we've got the German version. So we copy all those files, then Italian, into the Italian folder. And then we go into the Spanish folder. Copy all the language files from the Spanish folder. All right, and now that we've done that, that's all the language files copied over. Then we've got SCE underscore system now there's actually nothing in here apart from the write.sprx, which technically we're going to be overwriting anyway, so you don't really need to put this in, but if you want to, then just go into SCE uh, SYS and then go into the about folder, and then you can copy the write.sprx in there. Okay, so that's all the folders, and then for the rest of the files, what you want to do, we'll just copy all the files apart from the folders. Make sure you do not copy the folders. Just copy all the files now into the root of the game directory where all the other files are. So we just copy them all in here. And again, this may take a while. Okay, so there we go. The update's finished transferring. That actually did take quite a while, but nowhere near as long as transferring the whole game. Okay, so once you've done that, you've copied all the patch zero files across. We're going to head back out in here and now we're going to copy the 1.20 crack over as well. So what you've got here is all of these files here. So all these PRX files, all the PRX files, they go in SCE module. So you just copy them over to SCE module. Should be six of them. Then you have the write.sprx. Well, we know that goes in SCE system and then about, and then we copy that over. That's why I said you didn't need to copy the one from patch zero because we're going to be overwriting it anyway. And finally, these three files here are ELF files, are executable files for the game. Three of those, they just go straight in the root of the game directory. So those are our decrypted files for the patch copied over. Okay, and that's basically it. So all we have to do now is do what we normally do to launch our backup. And this time it should hopefully launch um, the updated version of the game instead of the regular version. So let's just do that. We'll do our normal setup. So we go into our elf loader. Again, all this stuff will be linked in the description. We type in CMD space and then start our command prompt in the elf loader directory inside the local folder. Then we need to have node.js installed. We type in node uh, space server.js and it will start hosting it on port 5350. 
For Node.js, just again, it'll be linked in the description. You just download, install it. You don't need to do any configuration. You just download it, you install it. And then from there, you can just type in Node Server JS and it will work. So 5350 is where it's been hosted. So all we're gonna do is open up PS4 AIO. So we're gonna restart our PS4 here because we've already launched a payload. We've already launched our FTP payload. So we need to reboot the, the PS4 in order to load another payload. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select custom and we're gonna drag our payload in for our watchdogs, our donor disk payload have the port, make sure it's set to 5054, and make sure your PS4's IP is entered in the bottom left. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head to the internet browser on our PS4. We're gonna head to the WebKit Playground link, which was HTTP, and then the IP address of your computer, followed by colon 5350. I've covered this in detail in other videos, which is why I'm skimming through it very quickly here. And then what you're gonna to want to do, of course, is just inject the payload and it says done. And then to confirm that it's injected properly, change the port to 5088 and click listen. And if you get all this text showing up in here, that means that of course the payload has been loaded. All right, so at this point, what we're gonna do is switch over back to our PS4 here and we're gonna press the PS4 middle button not B, just the PS4 middle button to minimize the WebKit. And then we're gonna start our donor disk payload, which is our watchdogs. And it's gonna start uh, ghosts. Now, because we've installed a patch, it actually does take considerably longer to start the game. So you might feel like maybe the game's frozen because it will be stuck on the logo here for quite a while. But that's just because there's a game update that it's running, so it takes a bit longer to launch. But there we go, we can see the game is launching. And boom, there, we have extinction mode. And I'm running this game as a backup, not from the actual game disc, but I have extinction mode on here. Working absolutely fine. Or let's, te let's test to make sure it's working absolutely fine. We'll launch extinction. Again, takes a bit longer to launch because it's an update, it's got more files and stuff it has to load. There we go, so Extinction's working, running as a backup copy. And you can see the game version in the bottom right hand corner is 3.15, which is the same game version as when I actually launched Ghost properly. And I can like completely delete. So I shouldn't have ejected the disc, I don't know what the hell I was thinking there. But I've just basically completely deleted the game and removed the watchdog's disc and put it back in. So Ghost is gone and the Ghost update is completely gone. I don't have the Call of Duty Ghost update installed. But if I launch the game again, hopefully it'll still run after removing the disc and putting it back in. Yep, it's still running. So boom, there we go. You can see I still have access to extinction. So even though I completely deleted the Call of Duty Ghost update from uh, from the PS4 and deleted the, my copy of Ghosts, it's still got the update when I'm running it as a backup because we've it's running the raw files from that backup folder. And it's working perfectly fine. Just to show you that it does work, we'll start the game to 100% prove that, you know, everything's working fine. I actually thought it wasn't working there for a second because it took so long to... It looked like it was stuck loading there for a second, but I think we're good. Okay, there we go. Point of contact. It's loading absolutely fine. Now technically I know that point of I know that extinction mode does come on the disc, I'm pretty sure. You just have to like complete the campaign to unlock it. Whereas if you have the latest update installed, it's right there in the main menu for you to load pretty much instantly. Because, um, you know, who's going to want to go through the whole campaign just to unlock a game mode? Um, but as you can see, it's running perfectly fine from our donor disk. So yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, so one last thing I want to show is just for the people who are going to be um, dumping their games to upload. Uh, just a special shout out for you guys. 
Um, I'll close this. So I have added a new update to PS4 AIO uh, version 1.2.0, which uh, I will post it on PSX Hacks and I will update the links in the NGU thread I made as well with the latest uh, downloads for any one of the updates not working for you. You can download the, the newest build directly. Um, so what I've done in this build is I've added um, an option called Game Dumper. And if you select Game Dumper, it'll open up this little um, dialog box here. Actually, that should be removed. Um, and what you can do in here is you can dump the game. So when you're, when you're decrypting a game, rather than having to use the virtual box method of actually building the, the payload from the source um, that I did in my previous video, you don't have to do that anymore. All you have to do is enter the ID the game ID of uh, the game you want to dump, like in my case, say it was Ghosts, then I put in the ID for Ghosts, and then I can select which USB device I want it to dump to. Uh, USB 0 is recommended, that's your USB stick, or the right port in your PS4, and you can just either save a, a custom payload for that, or just inject it directly from PS4 AIO, and you can also decrypt patch zero. So if you want, if you're wondering how I got uh, or how I decrypted the actual update, the game update, then that's what I did. Um, so it's added in here. So you can just, so if you have the game running on the latest update and you want to decrypt the latest updated version of the game, then you would decrypt patch zero instead of decrypting app zero. So you just select decrypt patch zero, inject the payload or save it. So that just saves you a lot of time. Rather than spending all that time setting up a virtual machine, setting up the PS4 SDK, getting the source all built and ready, you don't need to do that anymore. Um, you can just enter the game update of the game you want to decrypt and inject the payload or save the payload so you can inject it using some other means later on, uh, which is pretty useful. And in fact, you can even save payload. You can even save payload. And if I just save the payload here, you can also um, you can also add it to the preset payloads list. So now your payload will show up in here that you can just inject to decrypt the game. So that's something I've added to um, to PS4 AIO to make it easier for people who are dumping and decrypting their games to upload them. It's, it's much easier for you guys now to to decrypt your game or even decrypt the latest game update, so you can release the game with the latest update as well. Uh, like like uh, ghosts is. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe, and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.